I took Storyline Kone on my second account and I'm going to be reviewing him in this video. But let's have a closer look at this card. So he's medium, medium work rates, four star, three star. He's also six foot one, so he's quite a tall midfielder. For his positions, he only does have centre mid as a position on the card. There's no alternative positions. So whilst you're building squads, you are a little bit restricted to what you can build. However, there is still a decent amount of formations in the game that have a centre mid available. But it just will mean, you probably, chances are, you might just have to switch to a different formation in-game. Like with me, I play 4 triple 2 so I've got to build with a different formation and then switch in-game. Playstyles wise, he's got a few playstyles, but he's got no playstyles plus. And the playstyles that he has got aren't necessarily the best of the ones that you probably want him to be having. But we move into these in-game stats. So he's almost in the Hullet Gang with his face card stats. He's just missing that 80 plus defending. But he still has good defending with 78. On paper, he does have some very nice looking stats. Like everything is very nicely distributed. And the stats that he doesn't have that are green is free kick accuracy, volleys and penalties. And for a midfielder, that is definitely not the end of the world. You could definitely happily live with those being orange. Now, admittedly, because I don't run a centre mid formation, I will be playing him at CDM. And as you can see, I've got a shadow card on him. And because of that, I, I, I think the defending would need to be a little bit higher for me. But his best position is going to be centre mid. And I don't know, maybe possibly on the off chance cam. I might maybe switch him to cam in game. But let's have a look at the team that I'm using him in. So we've got a Prem Bundesliga hybrid going on here. And I will initially use him at CDM. But as I said, probably might switch him to cam. Depending on how I get on with him in this review. Okay, there he is. Nice in the middle. Oh, I see a nice easy pass right there. <laughs> oh my god, I just saw that opportunity to make a pass with Kone. And he gets an assist already. Wow, okay. Uh, conceded to Human Son there. Admittedly, that was pretty bad defensively there. Probably should have stopped him, but Ao can't always uh, stop everything. Okay, he's feeling rapid there, which is good. But he didn't need to come in defensively. Good pass again from him. Good. Like the deep line playmaking, actually, with him right now. Cover the passing lanes. Oh my god. Okay, never mind. I was trying to get cover the passing lanes and he's gone completely over Kone anyway. So we can see another goal. Okay, he's trying to press me. Nice. Handle that nicely with Kone. Come on, Kone. Use that pace. Catch up with him. Win that ball back off of him. Come on. Nicely done, Kone. Right, okay, another kickoff. This time is going to be the charm. Come on, we can't let him score another kickoff goal. And Kone, kind of a bit worrying. But then again, that was this game as a whole in some ways where sometimes the attackers just some, f somehow get past the uh, defenders. Okay, Kone is actually trying to join the attack this time. Gone for a wide pass, which didn't find the man, but we still got the ball. Good. Nice winning the ball back there comfortably. No bouncing back to the opposition player. Well, my opponent has quit out. We're going to have to go into another game then. Okay, now he's making a nice little run. Ah, he's lost the ball. He's going to have to run back now. Come on, use that pace, use that lankiness. Good little spin. And, well, he didn't directly have a hand in it. Good, nice, lovely through ball. Oh, okay, we're gonna get a penalty. Uh, he doesn't have good penalties, but 
he's on the penalty anyway. Do we do it just to try and get a goal of him? We might as well. So let's see what 63 penalties can do. It got a goal. But then again, I'm not a fan of penalties on this game. The amount of times you could go the right way and the goalkeeper doesn't save. Well, we conceded a very sloppy goal there. Oh, the big lanky leg coming out to play, but then we lose the ball. Okay, he's inside the box. He's marking. He's, uh, he's marking, but not marking the person that the pass goes to. So again, concede a goal, but is it Kone's fault? I wouldn't say so. Take it from the kickoff. Okay, he's running. He's passing out wide. He's not. He, he's um, staying back. Tonali's the CDM that's running up and joining the attacks, but Kone's sitting back, chilling, relaxing, playing the proper CDM role. Oh, crap. <laughs> Can see the number one. Concede another goal on that side, from that side. Nice interception. Although the whistle blew, so I couldn't really do much with that interception. I'm seeing some of what he can do defensively, but he's not getting hugely involved in the attacking side of things. So we're going to, just for this second half, try him out at Cam just to see what he can do in front of goal. Maybe some of his dribbling and more of his passing as well. Go on. Pretty much what... Oh, wow. He was pretty much one-on-one. -on -one. I think he would have held off the defender as well with his big tall frame. All right, from out wide. Whip it in. I mean, not the best of uh, crosses. And Gabby Jesus misses that. Okay, nice simple pass from him, but Taka's always uh, letting down in some ways when it comes to letting my marquee player get the assist. Oh, come on. Ah, damn it, man. Oh, I tried to go for the sweat and failed. Oh, go on. you got to have this, Kone! Yes, thank you. Uh, I mean, I should be winning against 10 men, but I had to score an equaliser there. Right, he's got to win this header. Come on, Kone. You're tall. Yeah, nice. Oh, what the hell was that pass, Wilson? Right, another opportunity for him to do the header down. Oh, okay. And that was against Bernardo Silva as well, of all people that he's... Losing a head or two. Well, second game as I thought. Goal fest, 6-5 in the end. Him playing at CDM and at Cam. I definitely will say that centre mid is probably realistically going to be his best position. But I just don't run that sort of style formation. So if you're not running that formation, I probably would say CDM. See, he's perfectly good as a CDM, but if you're going to use him at CDM, you definitely need to have another CDM and your centre backs and probably the full back that he's on that side of to be like really good to make up for the fact that on a on the odd occasion he will be a little bit suspect on defensive duties. But when it does boil down to things about whether to take him at level 40, the problem is with this card is. Club links are absolutely woeful for him. He is French, which is good, because yeah, you are easily going to be able to get a nation link for him. Bundesliga, there are some good cards, but at the moment, I wouldn't say there is a hell of a lot of variety of options within the Bundesliga at this moment in time. So trying to comfortably get him in on full chem will be a tiny bit of a pain. And then the fact that the, the lacking of the positions 
won't help with that. And since I've had the luxury of being able to try out both Kone and Mateus Kuna, out of the two players, I do think I'm slightly more swayed towards Mateus Kuna just because I think he's just got that flexibility when you're building squads with all his alternative positions. He's a bit more easier, I think, as well, to just fit into a team. But this is still a solid card, and if you can comfortably easily get him into your team and he's going to fit a centre-mid-style role because you run that type of formation, then perfect. Probably maybe just take this card over Mateus Kuna. But if you don't, take Mateus Kuna, and if you don't really can fit... Matez Kuna into your team, then go with the pack. But that is going to be it for this player review. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye, guys.